Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another edition of Iron Horse! Alright, I totally do the hand thing every single time I say the name of this map. No idea why. Even though I know you guys can't see it, it's like I absolutely have to do the hand thing. Uh, it's like, if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, it's like, I put my hand in front of my face and I make the fist and I go, Iron Horse! My girlfriend makes fun of me. Anyways, <laughs> she thinks it's kind of funny. When she first saw that, she laughed so hard. She's like, do you honestly do that at the starting of every episode? It's like, yes. And she was like, okay. <laughs> and kind of walked away. Anyways, we got a couple things going on today. As you can see, I got the John Deere S650. He's just doing a little bit of harvesting for us. Is he a hard worker? Not yet. There we go. Uh, he's just chilling out there for the time being. Uh, he is full. Uh, we have unloaded him maybe once or twice so far. Where is that John Deere? Ah, yes. So I have the John Deere here. Uh, let's just put that linkage down. That always makes uh, makes it look so much better. Just a little thing, right? Anyways, you got the John Deere here, and I think this is the inn. Not 100% on that. Uh, we could go to the old water mill, but honestly, I just don't want to drive around the map. Um, it's because there's a lot of... <laughs> you could spend, like, more time unloading than anything, or more time driving around than anything else. So I just figured... Why not put it close to a nice tipping point right here? Uh, so this one's actually pretty close to where we are. Uh, we're in field 13 right now, and this is pretty close. Um, so I've been honestly just been selling it where it's closest. And the reason being is because we're on normal, and the amount of money we get is a lot more than I've been used to in the last little while. So I figured, you know what, let's just sell it where it's closest. And there's, you get to see the different locations, like... I know on the uh, Central Kansas remake map, we tended to, sell, tended to sell at the same place every single time. Oh, I forgot to show you this, guys. Oh, totally forgot this. Anyways, uh, if you recall, I totally made that field of straw into silage, and this is just chilling out. It's at 32% fermentation at the moment. Uh, so yes, we have that, and we could theoretically sell it in this guy right here. Um, can we? Oh, we actually can get up there? That's cool. So we can sell it in here. And, uh, that's the auger. Oh, it goes into here. Okay. I was like, I was missing something there. Yeah, so we can totally sell it in there. Um, so maybe we'll do that at some point. Uh, once that's finished fermenting. Uh, but for now, I need to head... Where is the road I'm looking for? I guess we need to head north. Yeah. Like I said, I always need the map open to know where I'm going. There we go. That makes more sense. Anyhow, so yeah, we got that going on. And if you recall from the last episode, we bought a new cedar. However, the new cedar needs things to be cultivated first. So I was having a look around for cultivators to see what was out there. But actually, I didn't find too many really nice cultivators. Uh, Greg suggested a couple that I found. Uh, thank you very much, Greg. Much appreciated. Uh, the, I didn't download them. And the only reason why I didn't download them was because... Uh, they're just through upload.net, and I just try to avoid that if I can. There are a couple mods that I really, really want, and I'm like, I really want to get this one, so I'll, I'll suck it up and do it, but not normally. Um, for a cultivator, I'm like, well, it's a cultivator. In the end, it doesn't do anything super, super crazy, so I figured I'll just get one of the... I did pick up a new cultivator. Uh, well, technically, it's an old one that I didn't like, well, that I didn't use, I guess is what it boils down to. So I sold it, and then I'm like, yeah, we didn't really use it, so I picked it up again. So the one I'm talking about is a 7,000, uh, 1973 uh, Ford Chisel Plow, 5.2 meters. I don't know how big a tractor you need. It doesn't say how big the tractor you need. It's a pull behind. Uh, does it say here? Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So it doesn't say... Some people were saying, get this, this is, I don't have a tractor powerful enough to pull this. Um, but this one I should do. It's only, ah, it doesn't say. Where is my more realistic? So this is 5.2 meters. Let's take a quick look. So this has 170 horsepower for 5.7, and that's deep tillage. And what about something that is 5 meters, but... Three, six. So this is six. You need 150 to 200. So yeah, we should be okay. Should be. Being the keyword, of course. That's 300. No, we don't have anything that's that. Uh, nope. No. 
not quite that intense. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Did I buy it, or did I just like totally go past it and not buy it? Yeah, I just totally went past it and not buy it. Any figure, we don't cultivate very often. We, I tend to do a lot of direct uh, no tails type stuff. Oh, he's, why is he doing this again? Bro? <laughs> I keep turning it off, and I, I think what I happened last time was I went out of the game, and I was like, I went out of the game because I forgot I wanted to get a uh, a new cedar, a uh, new cultivator. So I went out of the game, came back into the game, and then that came back on. I don't want the straw. We have too much straw already. I could make it into chaff um, because we are kind of close to. Uh, so the BGA is actually right here at 11, but I'm honestly not that worried about it. So we do have a new cultivator, and uh, let's go to this guy right here. Some people were asking, uh, I believe it was Mr. Van Bruggen. Uh, he was asking about uh, if this particular mod was in the mod list. It is. And some people said that I should make it uh, no-till. Um, I could do that. But like I said, I figured I don't use... I'm just going to leave that there. I don't use no-till. I tend to use no-till often. So because of that, I figured I uh, might as well just do call some cultivating because I don't do much cultivating. So I realized. So I figured, why not? Well, I'll pick up a cultivator and we'll go, go that route. Uh, so this tractor is 150 horsepower. Some people are saying there is a new version of this tractor, actually. Uh, that's out in the boot, as Hitman would say. Whoops, that's definitely a fence I can't drive through. Um... <clears throat> Uh, so there is a new version of this. Apparently, you can get dualies for it, um, but other than that, there aren't very many other changes. Apparently, so I just left it as is. I like this version for the time being. Um, so yeah, just left it and then stuck, decided to stick with it. All right, so let's grab that new chisel plow. Actually, we could make this into hay. Uh, let's grab it. It's not a bad looking uh, chisel plow. Chisel plow, cultivator, whatever. I don't think that. That'd be funny. Yeah, just call it chisel plow. I thought so. Not my imagination. I don't think I've ever have I ever bought this. I can't remember. So as you can see, it's not too bad. It's got like a little. I forget what they call those now. My mind is blank. Um, but not the uh, not super super nice, but not terrible either. Um, I would use the Ford, but I don't think the Ford can actually pull this. Um, it's only 75 horsepower. And to be on the safe side, I got I brought the uh, the Mercedes Benz with us, so I figured, you know what, we should go ahead and use the Mercedes Benz because uh, we just bought it, so might as well. All right, so is this a square field? I honestly don't remember. It's kind of square. I could use Auto Tractor if I had it installed for this, but I don't. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do it the old-fashioned way with a hard worker, I think. We'll see how we'll see what happens. Uh, because it's a pull behind, he actually probably will do a pretty good job on this, I imagine. Because uh, I don't think he's going to back up with it like that. He probably will. Um, he probably won't back. I don't. Do you guys notice that? There's like a line right here. Is that the window? It must be the window. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Well, he's... No, maybe a hard worker won't work with this. Uh, maybe I'll have to do some of it myself, apparently. Uh, that's not good. Alright, so I guess we'll have to do a headland first or something. What happened there? Uh, that's not terrible, I guess. There we go. That's not terrible. I can live with that, I guess. Although I have to do the pay attention. Actually, we have the GPS mod. I totally forgot about this thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to do a headland still anyways. And there we go. Let's see. Zero offset. We don't want any offset right here. So after we do a headland around the edge here, we'll probably just go around and uh, use the GPS mod a little bit because it, it will do a pretty decent job, I think. Uh, RD Allen was saying, I don't know if I should say RD Allen or just Allen. Allen would make more sense than RD Allen, but whatever. His YouTube name is RD Allen. Anyways, he was saying that uh, Auto Tractor would probably work for a lot of this stuff. And he said he would work for fertilizing as well, I believe, um, which is definitely true. It would most definitely work for that so which is nice all right so let's get this done we're gonna just go 
take a nice little chunk out of the edges here. Um, we'll take a little bit out of the uh, the grass around the edges, but that's fine. Don't need to worry about it too, too much here. And then once we do this, we can line her up and use the GPS mod. For stuff like this, I'm, I can't, I have, I have to admit, I do kind of like the GPS mod for that kind of stuff. Uh, for a lot of this manual stuff, it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, makes my life a bit easier. All right, so where is my? There we go. Ooh, that's not good. Why is it uh, being all silly? Ah, that's interesting. So, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, that's definitely the window. Can I open the window? Yes. Okay, that's the reason why I can see it. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I'm going to turn my sound up for a second. I'm going to be quiet so I can hear this. Where's the... Uh... Oh, that's weird. Now that I've opened the window up... I... Oh, that is weird. Whoops, 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 whoops. Not paying attention to where I'm going. Eek. Um, but yeah, the sound actually changed. That's why I was kind of like, what's... The sound actually changed when I, uh... Oh, that's weird. How do you close the window now? Hmm. Anyways, the sound actually changed when I... Uh, when I... You know, did what I did. When I opened it, I let, the, let more sound in, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, let's go take another little chunk of the top here. Uh, but I don't know if you noticed that, but when I was going along the the edge there, it actually it actually um, was sliding. Yeah, it was kind of cool, actually. Uh, where are we here? Let's go right here, and let's do that. Perfect. So he should automatically turn now. Uh, but the problem is, he is going to turn. Yeah, but actually, it doesn't. It does like a little bit of a a slide. Not quite the electric slide, but uh, that's kind of cool, actually. I imagine it's doing that because uh, of the hill, but yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Maybe because it's a pull behind as well? I'm not sure. Huh. There you go. Learn something new every day, I guess. Yeah, because this is the line we totally went on. So, Alright, let's try this now. That's funny. Look at that. Huh. Anyways, let me take a look at a couple of comments. I have this guy set up, and let's see how well he does. Uh, all right, let's take a look at a couple of the comments from the last episode. What do we got here? Craft says, Craft Farms I'm referring to, of course. He says, there's a new MB intercooler on the official website. Uh, I didn't get this one from the official website, but um, perfect, he's turning. Is he gonna skip a lane? I think he's gonna skip a lane. He's gonna skip three lanes, apparently. That's cool, whatever. We'll see how it works. I think the reason why it's skipping, I don't know if it, it does it automatically, but I think it's doing that just because it's making it a nice turn, so. Which is kind of cool. All right, what else we got here? Uh, yes, Mr. Van Bruggen, he was saying that um, there are some changes in the, uh, in the version, in updated version. GTM559 says the mod for selling manure from Big, Bo Big Boss Modding will actually make, make it so hard workers cost money to use. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, they cost uh, fuel and they cost um, seed. That already happens for me, so I'm not that worried about it. Magnus says it wasn't on the mod list. Yes, it was, Magnus. I totally checked, um, but I think he was looking for the wrong thing. So the name of the, the cedar that's over there in the corner is the Sulky Zeos Cedar. So Zeos is spelled X-E-O-S, uh, if you're wondering. Uh, Dynamite Andy says, if I want to change the Sulky Seer into a no-till, I can. Um, I just need to change a specific line. He's definitely true. That's, I can do that. I just didn't want to. Because uh, I, like I said, want to do a little bit of cultivating, so you don't do much of it. I want to close this window now, but I know what those lines are now, at least. Alright, that's pretty cool. Like, let's, I wonder what's going to happen once it gets to the end. Is it going to skip and go back? That would be interesting. Uh, Mr. Bon Jenkins, Noobers Bon Jenkins says I should sell a Ford because I don't use it for much. Uh, it's true I don't use it for much, but I'd like to use it for hay when I need to make hay because. Why did you decide to stop? Must be because it thinks it's finished. Not so, my friend. Let's just raise the 
cultivator there. There we go. It kind of reminds me of the big four that we have, uh, the big four nine meter disc uh, that I have, but I don't use. Uh, I guess let's just line it up like this, like that, and let's set it up for that side. And let's set it up. I don't, I don't, maybe I can go to second level? I don't think so. That seems a bit quick. Well, apparently I can. 24 kilometers an hour seems a little, <laughs> little bit quick. Yeah, let's just keep it down like, let's say 50%, which is still 20 kilometers. Let's say there. It's not as, it's not super deep tillage. That's probably one of the reasons why I can do it like that. And, um, but it still seems like it's a little bit too quick, if you ask me. But, say lovey. All right, what do we got? Ruber, Ruber, Rudy says buy a bigger trailer. Definitely, Rudy, we're gonna buy a bigger trailer soon. I just wanna, you know, make it like more progression because because we're playing on normal, I get crazy amount of money like that. And it just seems kind of funny that we don't need to do it that way. Uh, and that seems to be all the comments from the last episode. Uh, I don't even aired this morning, I think, actually. I have actually finally got recording in advance. When it, was it, uh, was it this morning? Yeah, it was this morning. Uh, so I went live this morning, so that's part of the reason why there aren't that many comments yet. Uh, a lot of people are probably at work, at school, whatever it happens to be. So that's probably the reason why, I'm guessing at least. Maybe just people didn't want to comment today. I don't know. Who knows? Well, like I said, finally got, finally got a, uh, a chance to start recording in advance a little bit. Again, whoa, I did not notice that. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, oof, that's a lot of dust. Check that out right there. Does that mean I can lower it more? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe you can. Uh, turn GPS on. Lift forward. Does it actually change it? <clears throat> wow, it does. That's kind of cool. That little gauge right there shows you, I guess, how deep it is. Huh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, that's me being amused by simple things, I guess. But that's pretty interesting. So I guess maybe it's the faster you pull, the deeper it goes. I wonder if that's the case or not. I wonder. Let's just... Uh, can't get a good enough camera angle on it to see it. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, well. But yeah, it does, definitely looks like it goes down... It stays the same. I was wondering if it would go down further if we uh, started going faster, but it doesn't appear to. Anyways, yeah. Like I said, finally got a chance to go record a little bit in advance, so that's good. It's nice for me because I don't mean I don't have to record every single day if I don't feel uh, up to it one day, which is possible, I guess, right? All right, let's uh, back her up here a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of farmers finally, uh, a lot of farmers are actually finished uh, planting their corn and soybeans. Some people, not so much soybeans, but uh, canola is what I'm thinking of. Uh, I got my new edition of the Farmer's Forum there uh, for the month of June. And, whoa, 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 let's back up here a little bit. Uh, for the month of June, and uh, they were saying in there that a lot of farmers have gotten their canola in the ground, and a lot of them have got their uh, corn in the ground as well, so. We'll see what happens. Some people actually have a little bit of corn sprouting already, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, because it means the weather is doing well for them, I suppose. Uh, it means the things are going well-ish. Uh, actually, we're having a pretty wet spring here in Ontario, so some farmers are able to get stuff in the field, uh, depending on what they're planting and whatnot, and some farmers haven't been able to yet, so just depends on what you're planting, really. I was reading the... Uh, the crop, uh, the forage report, I guess, would be uh, from the Ontario Ministry of Agricultural uh, Agriculture uh, from Ontario, and um, they were talking about a lot of people because we're in like the first week of June. A lot of people who are doing hay have actually taken off. Some people, at least, have taken off the first cut of hay already, uh, which is crazy, actually. I guess all this, all this moisture we're getting is really good for those guys who are doing hay. Uh, not so good for the guys who are playing crops and whatnot, so it still it still is a bit difficult because when you have when you're harvesting hay and whatnot, you have to let it dry. 
And uh, if you have to let it dry, that means you need to have no rain. Anyways, so what they were saying in the Forge report actually was they're saying that uh, if you have the capability, uh, go ahead and do make some baleage with it. Uh, so if memory serves, baleage is when you bale het het when you bale hay uh, wetter than normal, basically. Uh, and if you do that, we don't need to go here, Ian. Let's just uh, lift that up here, line her up here. Uh, yeah, they're saying that if you have the capability, go ahead and make baleage this, this time around. So basically what they're saying is if you have the capability, go ahead and do it because you don't want to uh, leave the hay out in the field for it to ruin and whatnot. So good points, actually. Uh, obviously, they're like specialists in that stuff. <laughs> yeah, Ian, that's a good point. Of course it's a good point, Ian. They're specialists. Whoops, missed a little bit there. Got a little too overzealous. Actually, now that I use this cultivator, I kind of like it. Uh, I like how, uh, I like the little details on it, like that little gauge is pretty nifty. There we go, perfect. Almost finished here. We do need to fertilize, and we do have some liquid manure, but I don't think it's enough liquid manure to fertilize the entire field. So what we'll do is we'll wait another round. Uh, we'll wait another round, and then we will probably bust out that joskin that we have. Just sitting there, waiting. Uh, because the Joskin will fertilize and cultivate at the same time, if you recall. We finally got that on the Glen Malure farm, right close to the end there. So, And we decided, hey, let's bring it along. Uh, going back to that Forge report, I don't know, I just thought it was really interesting. I was like reading it and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert by any means because I don't live in a farm, but I do know some stuff about farming and whatnot. So it's pretty interesting to see what's what and who's who. Oh, didn't save it, oh well. Just looking at my phone. Yeah, they were saying uh, if you're doing baleage, you can leave it there. I, I wanna I have to think about this now. It wasn't a super long time. It was like, you can bale it, make baleage out of it uh, within like, I think it was like four to 12 hours, I wanna say was the number. It's gonna bother me now. It was something along those lines. Now I'm going to go check, because now it's going to bug me. It's going to bug me forever. Uh, this is what happens when Ian uh, when Ian goes and thinks of these things. It's like, where, what happened, what's going on here? There's something I'm missing, so I need to like go and like remember um, these things. Forge report, here it is. All right. I'm totally looking it up right now, just because it's going to bug me. All right, so this is what it says. This is the uh, official from Ontario uh, Omafra, or Omafra called now. It says, wrap bales within two hours of baling on hot days. So within two hours. So that's basically saying, if you, I think we're done here. Let's just take a quick little peek. Spurred's eye view here. Yeah, looks like we're good. Um, <clears throat> uh, Whoa, 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 don't roll backwards. What's going on there? No, want to grab the cultivator there, not to, uh, if you can turn this off, it's gonna bug me now. What's going on there? Oh, there we go. Oh, that really is heavy, holy cow. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but the back end of this thing just popped up when, it, when I picked it up. All right. I guess we should just put, uh, we're gonna need it in a second anyway, so let's just leave it there for the time being. Uh, yeah, so they're saying wrap bales within two hours of baling. Um, so that's like not a big window actually. So let's say you do like quite a bit of uh, forage, because a lot of dairy farmers would do forage and whatnot. So if you're gonna make baleage out of it, you're gonna have to get out there like ASAP basically. You basically have to have, you know, yourself and then somebody else as well. Um, so that's not much, that's not much, uh, time for clowning around. Sorry, I'm just thinking this, for whatever reason, this thing seems like it's light on the front end, still. This is a, I don't know, this is an, almost the same problem I had with the, uh, what was it? The Mercedes been on the old family farm, if you guys remember that. Oh, that's cool, if you guys can see that or not. Is it gonna stay running? Can I see it from back here? But look right in there. See that? That's pretty cool, actually. I guess that's to uh, clear the way, I suppose. That's really nifty. 
slow start there, jeez. Alright, so again, we're gonna do a little headland around here. I could use the, uh, the you know what. I could use the markers, ridge markers. Nah, not very helpful, apparently. <laughs> so, let's leave them off. Uh, but yeah, they were saying wrap the bills within two hours. So basically, it's like you have to be out there wrapping as soon as they're bailed. This is going to go terribly if I don't set it up now. Okay, what happened there? Uh, I, oh, that's what I did. Hmm, weird. Alright, so let's set this up. It's that, and like that. And like that. Okay. <laughs> See, it's like sliding. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, we're going to have to do a little bit of this, I think. Just because if we don't, it's never going to get started. Yeah, this, this tractor seems a little bit light on its feet with this cedar. Like, this cedar should not be, I don't think at least. Maybe it's a really heavy cedar, I don't know. And we'll just do this. Lower it. Let her rip. There we go. Let's set it up properly. Where is this button I'm looking for here? Uh, da, da, da. Nope. This is what I'm looking for right here. And the other button I'm looking for is... What is it, Ian? Ah, there we go. That must be what I'm looking for. Anyways. Yeah, so that's what you're saying. Two hours. That's not a very big window, so... Uh, that's on hot days, though. I guess because you don't want it to dry out is the reason because reason why you want it on... Um... That's one way to do it, I guess. Alright. Let's see how this works out. I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, so he says uh, within hot days. So obviously, if you're going to make baleage, one of the things you have to make sure is you have enough moisture in there so it does ferment, I suppose. Um, so that's why they're saying within two hours, I suppose. And on hot days... Uh, and within 4 to 12 hours on cooler temperature. So if it's a cooler temperature day, you can leave it out there for a little bit. Uh, so if you're doing, I guess, would be second cut, probably would be a little bit more lenient in that regards. Um, so if you're doing second cut, I guess, you could get away with a little bit um, a little bit uh, of a longer window. But yeah, first cut right now in the hot summer, not going to happen. All right. I'm just going to turn this guy off. I just realized that I have this guy chilling out right here. And I haven't finished this field yet. This is what happens when Ian gets distracted, apparently. I'm like, hey, you know what? There is a combine sitting here waiting to be unloaded. I really should set up a course play course to do this, but I'm uh, not necessarily avoiding using course play, but where possible, I'm just not using it. Because you can do use course play for everything, right? So that is the way it is. Sweet. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll stop the episode there for now. I'll finish <laughs> combining this field. And I'll what I'll do is I'll cultivate and plant all the fields. And then hopefully, hopefully, crossing our fingers, um, the pigs, the pigs, the beef cattle will be ready for us to take it to the market. But we'll see. I don't know. They're at 100% productivity now. So I'm guessing in the near future they'll be ready. But we don't know. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. My name's Ian Rops. This has been Farming Simulator 2013, coming at you from Iron Horse. Totally did the hand thing again. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.